this car. What's up guys? That right there is my favorite part about this car. So uh, today we're gonna do a video uh, and it's basically centered on what I love about this car, you know? Um, I've never, you know, I've told you guys about wheels, about how to, how it is to drive on drag radials, but you know, and how it is to live with this car on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think you guys should know what, what I really, really like about this car. And um, that right there, Obviously the power, I mean, if you're going to buy a GC500, I mean, obviously you're going to want to go fast, right? Uh, I mean, it is supercharged V8. Uh, and this is a 2010 GC500. It came with 540 horsepower from the factory. Uh, for me, that wasn't enough. So I went ahead and did a 2013 supercharger with a pulley, an intake, a throttle body, uh, bigger injectors, heat exchanger, an off-road X-pipe, car makes 666 wheel, 91 octane and about 724 on E85 so yes the power is definitely my favorite I prefer not having traction so I can do stuff like that um, it's really great you know just sliding everywhere I fucking love it or running up on like is that like a Fiero or something like throw in a second and there you go it's just like super loud like the supercharger one just accentuates it perfectly it's like this perfect symphony of just blower one and uh, exhaust noise. So, I mean, that being said, uh, I get more enjoyment from just flooring the car around town, you know, low speeds or on corners, you know, to just get a little squirrely. It's really, really fun. Uh, I prefer that to, you know, doing high speed pulls in the freeway. And yeah, it's cool, but it doesn't really do it for me. So, that's reason number one the power, of course. So, then reason number two, or, uh, I guess item number two that I absolutely love about this car and that is the styling. I feel like the 13 to 14 GT500 is the best looking Mustang out there. Uh, of course, you know, the 10 to 12s are the same body style, but you know, they don't have the uh, bumpers and the headlights and tail lights. That's a big part of it, which is why I went ahead and did the 2013 conversion on this car. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I love the styling. It's just, it's very American. It's blocky. It's got a lot of body lines. Uh, I actually, uh, I was really excited about the GT350 and uh, the S550 Mustang as a whole when it came out. And I mean, it's nice. I really do like how the 350Rs look, especially when they're lowered. Uh, however, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't do it to, for me as a Mustang. Uh, you know, it looks. It's a good looking car, but it's not a good looking Mustang, at least not to me. Uh, I've met several other people that think the same, the same way. Uh, you know, when you see this car roll by, there is no doubt in your mind that it's an American Mustang car. And that's very important. Uh, so, you know, it's got the red stripes, big red car. You know, it gets attention everywhere, as it should. And that would be reason number two. So then reason number three is actually these seats I'm sitting on right now. These Recaro seats are amazing. Uh, in the S550s with like the 5.0s and the EcoBoost and all that, they actually, they made the seats narrower. It's like, uh, it's hard to explain, but these, the Recaros on the S197s, they're a little wider. They, uh, they hold you really nicely. And uh, comparable to my RCF in that car, you know, the seats are very comfortable, the leather is very plush, but I prefer these seats. Um, they hold you in. Not once have I slipped out of the bolstering. The bolstering is very, very, you know, thick. It's ample on these cars. And, you know, for a, for a race bucket seat, it's absolutely comfortable. I've driven, you know, two, three hours. Uh, I'm here to call in. No. Yeah, about four to five hours in these seats, and I don't get, I don't get tired. Um, and that's very rare for a race bucket seat but uh, that would be a reason number three you know the seats absolutely love them so then we already have we have power we have the body style and um, you know the seats so then you could ask yourself well, well you know what other two things can you possibly love about this car well um, well that's a good looking M4 right there to Sammy what's up <laughs> 
Oh, that was my good friend uh, Sammy Sullivan. I'll go ahead and link his Instagram below. He's got a uh, he's mad BMW M4 on on Instagram, and uh, he actually uh, someone backed into his car, and you know he always needed to detail his car, and he would never do it. But somebody finally backed into it, so they went ahead and fixed his front bumper, and it looked like a brand new M4 rolling up. I had no idea it was him. The car looked too good to be his car. So that was uh, that was a problem right there, but um, I mean, yeah, I guess uh, I guess it was him. And then you know, just as we're speaking, there's a guy crossing the street right now with his dog, and just couldn't stop looking at the GT500. So that that would be reason number two. But all right, guys, enough of the distractions. But um, reason number three on why I love this car is uh, it's a combination. I mean, it's about how easy you can get power and. Just more like the the affordability of modifications, really. Um, some might take this for granted if all you've ever owned is like Mustangs and Camaros. Uh, you might think, you know, $1,700 for headers is a lot of money. Or, you know, $400 for carbon fiber splitters is a lot of money. Well, it's not, you know, once you go into even Corvettes. Uh, but mostly like M4s, like my buddy Sammy's, my RCF. Anything higher end than that, you, uh, everything gets exponentially more expensive. I mean, American Racing Headers, well, a police officer, uh, who just made a, a header kit for the RCF, they are charging $3,500 for a set of long tube headers that goes back to the axle back exhaust. Well, that same setup on this car will run you, you know, $1,500 to $1,600 with the Shelby name on it, so I had to pay for licensing. So that's twice as much money. So it's just... It's really valuable that you can buy such a nice car and be able to immediately mod it with minimal out-of-pocket expenses. I mean, a 2013 supercharger will net you over 100 extra horsepower, and that'll run you maybe like $1,500, $1,700. Uh, you just can't beat it. But so, I mean, of course you can make everything expensive. You, know, you want to build a motor, it's going to cost you ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. You know, you want to go ahead and get three-piece HREs, and that's going to cost you eight to $11,000. Uh, ironically, I have a set on my car right now, but uh, that would be reason number four. Uh, you know, it really doesn't have anything to do with the car itself. It's just an external factor that I like to bring attention to. Uh, and then reason number five is actually the experience of driving this car. Uh, a little bit of wind noise probably, so I'm going to roll my windows up a little bit. But yeah, the driving experience in this car is insane. So a lot of people might think that I would love to drive this car, you know, fast and furious everywhere I go. Well, no, um, that is definitely not the case. I love driving this car at night. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. Um, just like the cockpit in it, it's just, the driving position is so nice. Like, you're not like sunk in like a Corvette, but you're, it's not like, um, oh, I don't want to say the RCF, more like the, like the IS250, ISS, where it feels like you're sitting like, almost on top of the car this has a nice cockpit feel um, and then combined with all the other factors you know the power the seats um, it's just a very enjoyable driving experience at night um, just you have the gauges which are red white and blue and you can switch them to any color you want using my color I go with blue just because my boost gauges are blue so I have the mood lighting everything set to blue so at night you have this really nice blue hue in your face and like uh, on your peripheral vision you have the boost gauges uh, that combined with my sound system, I have two 10-inch subwoofers on top of the Shaker 1000 system, which has subwoofers as well. So I have that, you know, the car is super comfortable. It rides very well on coils. I set it up correctly. Um, just everything comes together at night. And it's just, I mean, I, I can't really explain it to you, but you got, you're like at a feeling of peace when you're driving the car. You know, I just go 65, maybe 70 miles an hour. Um, on the slow lane with my windows down at night and it's just it's a great stress reliever um you know some people might be like oh man well you're a total pussy dude you have you know over 700 horsepower in an engine like you know you want to relieve stress go ahead and do a wide open throw a 40 140 pull and it's not you know maybe not anymore but uh yeah it's just a very enjoyable car to drive uh this car is actually better to it's more enjoyable to cruise it than it is to race it. 
Uh, I know it's very ironic for a car that's supposed to be, you know, a higher end American car, a sports car. You would think, uh, well, it's rough, it's raw, but you would think that you would enjoy this car the most when you're, you know, on it all the time, and that's just simply not true. Uh, I enjoy driving this, you know, cruising in this car a lot more. Uh, it's actually the opposite of the RCF, which is why I dated this car. And that, guys, is the five things I love the most about this car. Um, you know, if there's any questions you have about the driving experience, about um, owning this car, uh, feel free to comment below. There are some things I don't like about this car. Uh, you know, maybe not hate, but definitely dislike. I'll definitely put hate on the thumbnail. Um, and a little bit of clickbait action there. But, yeah, I mean, the little five things I absolutely love about the Shelby GT500. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. And as always, if you need anything, you have any requests um, or anything I can improve, go ahead and comment it below and I'll get it fixed as soon as I can.